Stella Ann, it's great to see you. You look absolutely fantastic. Tell us how you're feeling at the moment. Hi, great to see you, Tony, as well. Haven't seen you for, for a long time. Uh, I feel okay. Uh, after my uh, high intensity treatment finished for a, it's been high intensity treatment for a year. I feel okay. I've started doing uh, bits and pieces in the, in the gym. My body's in bits. <laughs> I'm sore everywhere. But uh, it was a, a very hard year and I'm just glad that I can go back and do like normal stuff that all this one year I haven't had the chance to do it. I was most of the time in the hospital. I was worried about my, my account and everything else. But now I can go back and uh, live like uh, normally like before. How helpful has it been for you with the fact that, you know, that the Villa fans have been absolutely fantastic in every match? Uh, incredible. Villa fans have been, been so supportive and, we, you know, with the, 90, the 90th minute uh, clap and, you know, all the letters and messages and everything, it's, it's, they keep coming in, or even now. And, uh, you know, it's been exceptional, but other, other clubs done it as well, Celtic done it as well, you know, it's just... Uh, it's a club and the fans, they're always going to have a special place in my heart, you know, because uh, I had probably the most, my best years for me and my family, in, you know, in Glasgow. And, uh, you know, my son still thinks he's Scottish, so he just keep asking me to go and watch a Celtic game. So I hope that I can, um, I can take him soon. You still sound a wee bit Scottish. Do you adjust the accent to suit the audience here? Uh, no, uh, some people say that I still have a little bit of a Scottish accent, but I cannot. It's uh, my, like I say, my little boy, he still thinks he's, uh, he's Scottish, so he's still learning the Scottish accent that you want to speak, and I'll be happy, like I said, to take him back to Scotland. What's next for you then in, in terms of your health? Uh, next, uh, I still have uh, two more years uh, on a tablet, it's just part of the protocol. You need to follow this uh, protocol, and I need to have two more years of checkups. I need to check my blood now and then. But uh, it will be nice that I can go now on holiday. I can take my family to, to a nice holiday because like I say, it's been a, a very, very long year. But it's gonna be a softer treatment, but it's still, I'm still gonna be on tablets and I still need to pop in now and then in the hospital. And do you feel now that, that it's time for you, Stelian, to put something back into leukemia research and leukemia treatment? Yeah, at the moment I'm in the progress of uh, setting my foundation. I want to be something big. I want to raise a lot of money. Uh, I want to help people. And I've been in that situation and I know that all these people need help. And about researchers try to get this uh, disease get out of the way uh, and try to find the cure. Because a lot of people go through it and, you know, uh, we, I can say, we, we battle through really, really hard times and if I can help with, with anything, I'll try. I'm, like I say, I'm in the process of uh, setting my foundation. I'm speaking with uh, a lot of companies and a lot of people and try to do it right. And when will the Celtic fans get to see you again? Uh, well, I hope so. I can make the, the cup final. Uh, uh, my boy asked me if he can go to the cup final, so I spoke with, uh, with Rona and she said I can can get me a few tickets, so <laughs> I hope that I can make that one. It'll be, it'll be really nice.